Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I am trying to do Coptic stitching. Now, I found a tutorial from C Lemon. I love her tutorials. And <laughs> this tutorial requires a cover. So I will link that tutorial video I'm using, plus one I found that doesn't require a cover. Now, I have my lamps on because it is pitch black outside. So this video is going to be very washed out, and I apologize. For my cover, I am using watercolor paper. I am using the Arches 640 gram paper. Um, initially, I wanted to try this for the inside pages, but let me show you something that happened. When I folded it in half, it's just too thick and it tears the fibers. So this is going to have to be paper used for the covers, not the inside, it's just too thick. So now that we both know, lesson learned. I also have <laughs> as many backings of sketchbooks and watercolor books. It is four ply and um, it's saving my desk. So four ply with this really thick cardboard backing that is used in watercolor sketchbooks is the perfect thickness to keep from getting holes. So what I'm doing now is I created a little template using a thin piece of cardboard and I did about six holes because that's what it looks like she had on hers and I went an inch in and I made holes. So what I'm doing is I am doing colored paper for the inside. This is going to be a very colorful, fun, just sketchbook with a watercolor cover uh, for practicing colored paper, colored substrates and I'm lining it up on the line on the bottom and then I am clipping it. I don't know how else to do this um, without a template, with making holes. I mean, maybe you have suggestions. I don't know anything about book binding. I am just an artist and illustrator, and so I just wanted to see if I could make some sketchbooks, eventually watercolor sketchbooks, because those are an absolute fortune. And I want to do a low buy for the rest of my art journey. So I have clipped those, I've lined them up. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to punch through the holes and hopefully it lines up on the crease. If it doesn't, it's a little cattywampus. Um, I've mentioned multiple times, I'm not really a precision person when it comes to things like this. I am much more slapdash. So that may not pay off when it comes to something like this because it seems like precision is what looks best. So these will never be for sale. This is not an avenue I am going into for monetary things. This is just so I can create and have fun sketchbooks. So again, this is my little template. All right, so these little booklet paper things here are called signatures from what she said. And I'm just gonna make sure these holes are a little bit bigger. I have a ring thimble on in case I need help with the needle. Now her video doesn't say how much thread you need for something like this. Her Coptic one said you needed five times the length. So I'm not sure. So I'm gonna fold all these up. You can see I really went wild with all the different color combinations. This is going to be sort of a rainbow illustration sketchbook. Now, here are all the things. And then apparently I line them all up. Oh, good grief. This is gonna be a lot of sewing. Okay, so I need to, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. Let's see how she does it. So I'm gonna be watching her thing. So here is my thread, and she said you wanna double it through the needle, tie it in the knot at the end. I'm okay with that. So I think we do the first one first. Okay, so we open it up, we go through the first hole. So far, so good. Um, I just have to be able to pull it through, okay. And there's gonna be quite the hefty knot in the center, but that's okay. We'll figure out what to do with that once we get there. And again, I think this is going to be a lot of stitching. And then, what the heck did she just do? Do I have this on twice the speed? No. We need to slow this down a little bit. Okay. 
And then she takes her cover. And what does she do? Oh my goodness. You're gonna learn in real time with me whether you want to or not. We're gonna move at the pace of Kendra. This is not the fastest pace in the world. Okay, she went through. I did it correctly. I'm happy for that. But this is gonna be a lot of stitching and I'm not gonna be able to finish this in one video. And then she goes under and through here. Okay. And then pulls it tight. Okay. No, that is not what she did. That is not what she did. Hold on. Let's pull this back out. Hmm. The learning curve is curvy. All right, let's pull that needle back out. Okay. What did she do? She did the paper. Okay, I got that portion. And then there's a jump cut. Where the paper's on top? Oh, is she doing the bottom first? Well, heck, that makes sense. If she's doing the bottom first. Okay, and then we go up through here. Is this gonna be the back of my book? Okay, I don't even know if this is the back or the front. I'm just not gonna worry about it. Again, this is all trial and error, so if this all ends up wonky, um, I can't learn things unless I do them. Like I can only watch so many tutorials and then I'm like, okay, now I have to try it because I stop learning at a point and I just I have to do it. So that is where I'm at. And she pulls that really tight. Oh my gosh. She pulls that pretty tight. And then what does she do? She threads. Oh, see lemon. Come over and help me through here, okay, I can do that portion a bit, you shall see, oh this is, this is a lot isn't it, is this why people don't do this, you could tell me the truth, okay, and then she goes back through that hole, oh my goodness, okay, we go back through the hole, well I wouldn't do this with tissue paper or anything like that, if you were thinking about doing some of those thinner rice papers or like onion skin or something, I don't know how you would do this with this um, a stitch just because those papers are so thin. And this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay, does it look okay on the, the other side? This is gonna be loose. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm, I don't know if this looks right. Well, we're just gonna keep going. This is kind of strange. I feel like maybe this isn't the best thing to try and learn on camera while trying to keep track of time and making sure this is on film. And then you go up through the bottom there's my bottom hole. Right through here. Okay. Oh, we're looking at this side now. Why do we have to look at it from this angle? And looking at it through this angle. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so wild to me. And then you thread it back through. Okay, hold on. You're skipping ahead. You're going too fast. This is definitely something that... Can we see that? Let me see what I'm doing. This is not quick. Okay. I felt like the Coptic was pretty... Um, pretty quick stuff. This is not quick. And then do I go back through again? Oh my lord. Okay. Let me... What is she doing? She is doing it. Okay. This is how we do it. Okay. And then we do this for every single signature, every single packet. Oh, this is wild. Okay. 
All right, and then you just have to get into the motion of the pattern of the stitching. Okay, well, feels like a choice. <laughs> I have made a choice. I am now committed to it. Um, hmm. Boy, stitching paper is strange. I feel like folks that like to sew would enjoy this way more if they are into like stitching and making their own clothes and gosh how does she do that hold on hold on she just did something kind of wacky I don't know I don't know if I'm doing this correctly there's a lot of knots I think this is gonna hold. I think this might look okay. I don't know if this is gonna perform okay. I don't know. We go through. See, and I'm make, trying to make sure I'm pulling this tight with all the different packet things here. And eventually I go back through again. Hmm, boy. She's just so fast with this. Okay, this tutorial even slowed down is just too quick. So what I have so far is these two and these three. I hope this sort of helped. I'm gonna keep going and see how long this is gonna take me. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.